Hey there, it's Jess. Today I want to show you some fun tips with our filigree beads. We have two different sizes. Many of you may use them just as a bead where you'd string it onto a maybe a head pin or an eye pin for um, bead linking or drops or even onto stringing wire. What I want to show you is how to open them up to make a creative setting and wrap all different fun things like art beads and found objects, whatever you'd like to turn into a pendant. So I'm going to start with this larger bead here. And as you can see, on one side there's a hole. The opposite side you're going to see where all four of these petals meet together. That's the side where it's going to open. So I'm just going to use a round nose or rosary plier to simply insert into these openings here. And then I'm gripping the bead and you just start pulling outward so then the petals can easily open. And then you could use the pliers or your hands to continue opening the rest. So once you have that completely open, you have a really pretty embellishment. This is beautiful. You can make this a pendant even just by simply taking a chain nose plier and squeezing the tips of these petals to flatten it out or hammer it. I'm going to leave it dapped like this to wrap. So. The piece I'm going to use here is Ninamo by Seacoop. This is beautiful. I also have some polymer clay by Humble Beads and this really pretty wood pendant by Sky Jewels is wrapped in the same setting. You could also wrap large lampwork beads. So with this bead, there's a hole at the top. So you could do two things. You could either wrap it like this where the hole is in between the petals where you could add a jump ring later. Or you could turn it on this angle where you take the petal and of the filigree and cover the bead hole and then you just add jump rings later into the openings. I'm going to keep it simple here and wrap it um, with the hole exposed. So I'm going to place this here and um, to see if your stone or object fits, you just want to set it into the opening of the filigree make sure that you do have plenty of room to fold over all these edges and this size here works great. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that and just grip these petals and start to bring in each a little bit. I'm going to do this to create a symmetrical wrap. So I'm basically creating pockets for the stone to sit into before I crimp the edges down. So I'm just slightly turning these all, all in. See here at this angle that they're turned. Okay, so you might hear little voices. That's my daughter. She's in the studio with me today. <laughs> okay, so now I'm holding the setting. I'm going to hold this in my thumb and fingers and just hold everything tightly together. So, so I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and use the center of this to fold this down. And then I'm going to turn it so I'm working the opposite angle. Instead of counterclockwise, you just want to work opposite angles. That helps you with keeping it symmetrical. If it were to slide, you would then be able to easily maybe lift these up to re, um, crimp them down. Okay, so I'm going to do this side here now. Sometimes after wrapping, you may notice that your stone's a little bit loose. This is actually pretty tight now, but I'm going to show you a tip, a little trick to keep it completely secure. So next I'm going to take my pliers and on the corners of these filigree, I'm going to just crimp down. So you'll be able to feel it once you do that. There's like a little gap. Just go around and crimp each of those edges in. Okay. So now I have this beautiful wrap. You can see all four sides are folded in. The back is really pretty as well. With filigree, keep in mind that everything is reversible, so you have a double-sided pendant. And then I would just add a jump ring right here, and then you have your completed piece. Okay, next I want to show you with the smaller bead. And with this one, there's a hole on one side. And the opposite side, you're going to see where there's an actual like little loop. That's where this one opens. So you could use your pliers again, or you could use your nail and your fingers just to open these up. This one's a little bit softer, so it's really easy to do with your hands. And I want to use a smaller 
lentil lampwork bead. These are really great for this setting. And I consider the top where the loop is and I will cover that up. You'll see that later when I create a bale. So for now I'm going to um, start with the bottom and I'm just going to simply create a little pocket for the bead to sit into. Go ahead and place that in there. And then with holding it in place, I'm going to start forming the edges in. I'm going to work back and forth just to make sure it's symmetrical. So squeezing each side and then going to the next side. Okay. And now with my round nose plier, I'm going to grip that side where the loop was and start to curl it. I'm forming a bale with that along the top of the bead. So it's covering the hole in the lamp work and hiding the loop on the filigree. So that's all tucked in. You might be able to see here better where that's a bale. So you could string it onto beading wire, you could add leather or silk or a cord or fine chain. And then I'm just going to secure this also with my chain nose pliers. All right, there you have it. You have two really easy, beautiful wraps um, made with the filigree bead. So there's a lot of other fun things you can do with filigree. I'm going to keep showing you tips along the way, things with layering filigrees and patinas and just a whole lot of fun and creative things you can do. So stay tuned, and I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks. Bye.